So today we're going to talk about the knee joint. And with the knee joint, one of the first things you want to do is put it in anatomical positioning. So to figure out anatomical positioning, turn the knee so that there is a longer ligament and tendon attached in the front. Um, and what you will see here is that we now need to figure out whether this is the anterior view or the posterior view of it. All right, so anterior would tell us that it's the front of the knee and posterior would tell us it's the back of the knee. So let's look at this. You take the knee joint and you turn it. All right, so we start off on the left-hand side and we will turn it 90 degrees and you'll see that there is a smaller bone and that there is a smaller ligament that attaches to it. We're gonna call it a ligament because ligaments attach bone to bone. All right, and then let's turn it another 90 degrees. And so we'll be looking at 180 from where we started. So the first picture is the picture we started with and now we're looking at the back side of that picture of that model and you'll have this y-shaped ligament right so this y-shaped ligament here you have that smaller one that we just looked at on this last picture and then you have this longer ligament here and all of these are attaching bone to bone so bone to bone here so it's a ligament bone to bone here it's a ligament bone to bone here it's a ligament going another 90 degrees you're going to have this picture on the far right so you have a ligament here, this longer one. Here you can see the patella. The patella is your kneecap, all right? So if we can see the patella here, we know that this side is the front of the knee, all right? So the very first picture we saw is a, is a front view, an anterior view. So again, which one are we looking at? We're looking at an anterior view, the very front of the knee. What you see on the front of the knee you would have the patella here. Above it, you're gonna have this tissue that connects to a group of muscles up here. This group of muscles would be your quadriceps. All right, and then it's attaching to this bigger bone down at the bottom. You have a smaller bone here. So think about your knee joint. What is the bigger bone at the top of it? So the superior bone to the knee joint is your femur. The bigger bone at the bottom here is the tibia. This smaller bone here is your fibula. And here, this would make a, a tissue that's attaching the patella to the tibia. So this is a ligament here. And here we are attaching muscles to a bone, the patella. So it's a tendon, this one here. All right. So anatomical positioning, the one on your far left is anterior. This one is a lateral view of the knee. All right, you'll have another lateral view over here. So whether it's lateral or medial with respect to the knee itself, we'll get to that. And this one here, this third picture is a posterior view. So this is the back of the knee. You can see those nice condyles here, those condyles for the femur. All right. So is this knee a left or a right knee? So what's going to help you identify this? You already know this is the front of the knee and you're looking at that smaller bone on the bottom next to the larger bone on the bottom. So your tibia is always going to be a medial bone. The smaller, thinner bone, the fibula, is always a lateral bone. So if this is the front of your knee, this bone is lateral, how would this be positioned on your body? this would end up being a right knee. So what are some of those anterior structures? All right, remember there is a group of muscles above that star. That group of muscles is known as your quadriceps and they're gonna insert onto the patella. So because it's muscles to a bone, it's gonna be a tendon and it's named after the group that it's com it comes from. So that's gonna be your quadricep tendon. Over here, you have a ligament because it's bone to bone, right? It's a right knee. That would make this side of the bone of the joint medial. So this is known as your medial collateral ligament, also known as your medial tibial collateral ligament or your tibial collateral ligament. It's collateral lateral because it is coupled and it's on the outside, it's lateral to the joint itself. So you have coupled with this one 
All right, so this is your lateral collateral ligament, also known as your fibular collateral ligament or your lateral fibular collateral ligament. It's bone to bone, which makes it a ligament. It's collateral because it's coupled with another one on the outer sides of the joint. Down here is your patellar ligament. Your patellar ligament attaches the patella to the tibia. It's going to attach at the tibial tuberosity. And then you have a meniscus, which is this cartilage here in the knee joint. One is lateral, so the one closest to the lateral ligament on that outer side on the left, that's your lateral meniscus. And obviously the medial meniscus is going to be the one closer to your MCL, your medial collateral ligament. So here you can see if we pull um, that tendon and ligament, basically pull the patella from that joint, you can see where that patellar ligament attaches to that tibial tuberosity. So here you have your quadricep tendon that comes from the quadriceps. It attaches to the patella, turns into the patellar ligament, attaches to the tibial tuberosity. This is going to be a posterior view of the knee. You're looking at a posterior cruciate ligament. That's that upside down Y there. So if you have a posterior, you probably have an anterior. That's going to be this little tissue here. You see that tissue? And the reason it's called anterior is because it actually runs through the knee joint and attaches to the anterior portion of the tibia. You can also see that you have your medial collateral ligament and your lateral collateral ligament on this view. So the lateral collateral is the little one on the right hand side and your medial collateral ligament is that longer one on the left hand side. So here you can see where that tissue comes through that knee joint and actually attaches to the knee. Um, and the very front part of it, that's where you have that anterior cruciate ligament. So posterior cruciate ligaments with the star, anterior cruciate ligament comes through the knee joint. It's commonly referred to as your ACL. And then the, the upside down Y looking one is known as your PCL. So you have an LCL which is the little one on the right um, that's lateral there, an MCL, remedial collateral ligament, that longer one, posterior cruciate ligament, PCL is the upside down Y, and then the anterior cruciate ligament, you can see the hunk of the little tissue right above that posterior cruciate ligament, and then it runs through the knee joint and attaches to the front of the tibia. So lateral structures, right, we've already kind of looked at these um, as we've gone through, but you have um, that lateral collateral ligament that attaches to the fibula, that smaller um, ligament, and the medial collateral ligament that attaches to the tibia, which is that longer collateral ligament. And that's basically it for the knee joint. The knee joint is one of the more simple ones to do. Um, just continue to work with it and learn it, and remember that muscle to bone is going to be a tendon. You only have one on this model and that's going to be your quadricep tendon and all the rest of them are ligaments and then you have the meniscus.